One final time, right here. Drop, two, lift, singles. Hold it here, bring the weight to the side. Palms face out. You're gonna give me a single arm, cross raise, right here in the front of the body. Lifting, so relax those shoulders. Chest is lifted. We come across the body, right here. Bring up. Breathe in your movement. Letting our heart rate come back down, right? Now we come to the upper body right here. So it's all about strength. Just keep it. Little eye on the cider this morning. Woo! Hang on just for about 10 more seconds. That's it. In four, three, two, and one. Bring it down. From here, I want you to bring those weights back up. Right? Feet are together. You're going to sidestep it. Sidestep, bring it center. Sidestep to the left. Sidestep squat. We're right here. Get moving. Sink those hips down to the ground. Knees, toes. Point toward the front of the room. Rock, squeeze. Make sure that hip comes down. So unlike the side lunge where if we push our hip back, this is a side squat. So down, lift. Let's go. I told you, low impact does not mean easy, right? Down, squeeze. In four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and set your weight down. From here, you're coming down to the mat, everyone. Come down to the mat. We're gonna go into a push-up. It's gonna look like this. From your knees or from your toes, down, two, lift. If you're on your knees, come to your toes. Hike, meaning hip comes up, drop back down. So down, two, lift, two, hike, hold. So control, slow and steady right here. If you're on your toes, all right? So pike, hip pushes up now. Gaze goes down. Bring it up. Lead with that chest. Press off those palms. Spread those fingertips. Bring it up. Can you hang out for just about 10 more seconds? Again, heavy weights in hand. Going back to the lower body. All right? Bring those weights back up. Now, if you're more comfortable with those weights at your side, do what works for you. This time, it's going to look like this. Drop, hold, halfway lift. Hold, drop, down. Hold, all the way up, and squeeze. Drop, hold, halfway lift. Hold, drop, hold, up, and squeeze. Let's go. Drop. Lift, drop, up and squeeze. Do it again, do it again. Woo! That's what my quads are saying to me right now. Woo! Drop, lift, drop, bring it up, squeeze again. Woo! Bring it down. Let's go, let's go.
All right, so here, we're going to go into alternating front lunge, same leg, diagonal lunge. Then you switch front lunge, step across the body. Forward, step across. Alternating sides after the forward and cross, right? So think about coming to the corner of the room. And remember that when we lunge, it's straight down. You do not want to shift forward as you lunge. You want to drop, all right? So be careful that that front knee does not shift past that front toe. Right there.
we're going back to the lower body. This time, look at your side or up by your shoulder. It's going to look like this. Squat, step back. Squat, step back. Step back. Squat, step back. Do it again, do it again. Squat, back. So again, talk to yourself, right? If your spine doing this, right? Your back should be doing this, that spine stays neutral. You need to tell yourself, I need to stick out my chest, nice and proud, and bring my shoulders to the back of the room, right? Big step behind. Step behind, and back in. In four, three, two, one. Come back to the center. We're going back to the upper body. Now this time, I want you to bring those weights to the front. Palms are going to face you. Weights are going to stay close to the body. Upright go for two. We go lift. Two, stay up here. We drop. One. Other arm. Take it back down. Two. Down. Two. Lift it. Come up. One. Two, drop, drop, lower back down. Lift up, two, isolate, drop one arm, both arms come back down. Do it again, lift, drop down, drop down. So it's like those weights are rolling up the body, you hold, and they're rolling right back down the body. Ooh, how are those shoulders feeling right now? Yes. Looking strong. Drop. Doesn't matter where you're at and where I'm at, right? You know the move. Last one right here, wherever you're at, finish it off. Bring it down. Woo, shake it out. All right, bring those weights back to your side. From here, we're gonna go into a squat. This time, a side lunge. Just stick the butt back, right? Squat, side lunge, alternate sides. Squat, side lunge. Step, drop, step out. So this time in your side lunge, we push the hip back, right? As opposed to coming down, the hip pushes back. The hip comes down when you go into that squat, for sure. Send the booty to the ground. Push the booty back. Again, keep the shoulders open. Chest open, shoulders back. Right there. Right here. more seconds. 15 more seconds. Move at your own rhythm. It's all good. In four, three, Biceps and the shoulders to work together. I want you to give me a hammer grip right here. Come up for three like this. Three, two, one. Bring it down. Bring it all the way up. Press it overhead. Bring it back down. Up. Two, three. Bring it down. All the way up. Push overhead. Bring it down. Control. Down. Lift. Push. Here we go. Here we go. Up. Down, lift, press, do it again, bring it up, are we feeling stronger, lift, two, three, bring it down, let's go, three, two, so you're swinging that weight maybe too much for this muscle group for you, right, take the lower back out of it, 
and tight, right? Three, two, one. Bring me down. Bring it up. Lift. Two more, two more. Two more, we'll finish off. Bring it down. Last time, bring it up. Up. Press. Back down. All right, go ahead and set your weight off by your mat. Straight portion. Check. Complete it off the list. Wipe off whatever sweat you might have left, right? We're going into our cardio. So, I will show you options on how to bring it down should you choose to bring it down enough, right? Five exercises. We're going to start off. Scissor feet right here. Scissor feet. Scissor feet. Just like we did in the warm up, right? Start getting that body moving. Scissor feet. Now, too much? Make it a tap. Go back to that tap back, right? But make it quick. Tap it back. More scissor feet. And again, hands overhead. So the purpose here again is the cardio burst. Now we want to elevate that heart rate. We want to get to the point where we might even start to feel breathless. Push through. Push, push. Let's go. Eight, seven, six and five, and four, three, two. Hold it here. Pick up one dumbbell, one heavy dumbbell. From here, we're going to go into face forward. A swing, switch. When you swing, push the hip back, free it up, switch. Let's get moving, let's go. Right here. Yeah, we got this. Bring it up, switch. So remember, you're not coming down into a squat. Almost as if you're deadlifting, right? Pushing the hip back, bring it back up. Keep the knees nice and soft. You do want to bend the knee, right? But you don't want to come down into a squat. Push the hip back. Right here. There we go. Swing. That's it, that's it. I got us on time. Just 15 more seconds. 15 more seconds. In four, three, two, one. Time. I might have been a little over on that. <laughs> now, from here, come down to your mat. Right? You don't need your mat, but I like using your mat. From here, I'm going to step my right foot back and then bring my knee up. Doesn't matter if you start left to left or left to right. So you're just coming straight up. You ready? Let's go. So you can add a hop at the end if you want. Or just bring the knee straight up in the air. Move the side. Good news is you're only on each side for about 20 seconds. Right? In four, three, two, go ahead, switch sides. Come to the opposite leg. Drop it, lift it. Drop lift. Right here. Lift. Up. All right? You can also bring it there. Again, elevate the heart rate. This is your little cardio burst. In three, two, one. Rest. How are you feeling? All right, so from here, you have your mat on the floor. Four hops up, run it back. Four hops up, little run back. Right? The hopping is too much. Walk it up quick, walk it back. Walk it up quick, walk it back. But stay low and be quick. However you choose. All right, and you're taking those big leaps. Back it up. Right, wide low, coming through. Not back, bring it in, bring it out. Back it up. When you're happy, Think about landing light on those feet, all right? Those heels. I can barely hear you. Back it up. That's it. You need eight, seven, six, and five, four, three, two, and one. 
Rest. All right, our next move. Option to bring medium weights with you, right? It's gonna look like this. I come down, I step out, step in, and stand up. Option is to make it a jump out instead. We ready to get moving. Last cardio first, let's go. Either with a step out or a jump out. Down, out, back up. And remember that those weights are optional at this point. You don't have to hold on to those weights. Use your own body weight to come down and up to the ground. I said down to the ground, up to your feet. Again, this is your last cardio burst before we move on to core. You have 10 more seconds. 10 more seconds. In four, three, two, and one. Bring it up. Tap it out. How are we feeling? All right, when you're ready, actually we're gonna start core up on our feet. So our first core move, bring that left foot out to the side. Come up on the toe, then you're going to use the ground hand come up, lift and lower. So here, think about coming behind. Right, really squeezing those obliques as you lift and lower the leg. And again, move at your own rhythm. Lifting and lowering right here. Eight, seven, six and five, four, three, two, switch and go the other way. Lifting and lowering. Right here. You should feel that pinch and those obliques again. Come behind with the arm. Lifting and lowering. Sweat is dripping all over my forearms. Yeah, that's a good side. Go ahead now, bring it down to the mat. Come down to your mat, everyone. All right, so our first move, you know what I needed? I'm gonna lay on my back. Feel her in. From here, laying on my back, I'm gonna come into a full sit up. I'm going to bring my hands down for support, reach my hip up, come across, touch my toe, plant my head down, roll back down, sit it up, plant the hands, lift the hip, Reach over to the toe. Plant the booty back down. Lay back down. Roll it down. Any wrist issues, just bring it up. Tap, tap. Bring it back down. Tap the heel. Bring it down, right? Something for everyone. Right here. Eight, seven, Five, four, three, two, and one. Ah, where we at? How we doing? All right, from here, go ahead. Come onto your back. Bring the hands behind the head. Bring the knees up. We're just going to go into bicycles, right? So elbow to opposite knee. Ride your bike. However you want. Maybe you take a nice show. Maybe. Going for speed, right? It's your ride right here. Ride that bike. Think about keeping the elbows out there, right? Elbows out wide. Coming across. Right here. Keep pushing through. Keep pushing through. Woo! How those abs feeling right now, everybody? Right here. Eight, seven, six, and five, four. Three, two, and one. Go ahead and relax. From here, I want you to flip over. We're going into plank. This is our last move right here. The last move for the core. So come over onto your belly, right? From here, decide if you want to be on your knees or on your toes. But I want you on a low plank, meaning elbows down to the ground. When you are ready, right here, we're going to 45 seconds right now. That's it. 
so you're up in a slow plank. Now, you can add some movement if it helps distract you, right? That movement can be forward and back, it can be tapping the knees, or you can just hold. Whatever you need to do to work through, you're 15 seconds down. And again, if you need to rest, bring it to your knees for three seconds, and bring it back up. No booties in the air, no sway back. You are on board right here. 30 seconds down, guys. Woo! 10 more seconds to go. No step now. In three, two, one. Your head drop those knees. Come to child's pose. Let's start to cool it down and we're going to take our final stretch to child's pose. Send those hips back towards those heels. Bring the hands in front of you. Reach those fingertips towards the edge of your mat. Take some deep breaths again. We need to start pulling it down and stretching it out. Woo. Go ahead and come to your knees. From here, shift one foot forward. All right? Over here. Push that out of your foot. We're stretching out the hip here. I don't know about you guys, but I am driven and stuck right now. You push for sure. So I'm gonna bring it down and then switch from the opposite knee. Or the opposite foot through, and you guys bend right and then push forward here. Come on. Come on. Wow. Now go ahead and untuck that back toe, bring it up to standing position, pivot towards the front of the room. From here, bring the feet together, reach the one foot, bringing that heel into the glute. Getting a nice stretch through the front of that thigh. Woo, my glistening. Oh, hot damn, everyone. Nicely done. Go ahead and switch. Other side. Feel the glute. Thank you guys 